Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be disassembling this blown Hayabusa 1300 engine. Uh, if you haven't seen last video, I acquired a wrecked Hayabusa bike and this motor came with it and guys, it is just extremely, extremely clapped. It's in pretty bad shape and a lot of you even went as far as saying that it could not be saved. Um, there's not one hole in the block, but there's two holes in the block, one in the top and one in the bottom. After inspecting the oil pan, I noticed there's a lot of sand and debris inside the engine. A lot of you guys did seem to agree that someone must have got mad or upset, but uh, someone did bring another explanation up. The front wheel could have simply just kicked all that dust up in the engine, um, although it's pretty unlikely because the front fender and the radiator uh, is blocking that hole, but it's a possibility. Now some of you are of the opinion that nothing on this engine can be saved and I should just buy a new engine. Well, uh, I don't really have deep pockets, you know, We're, we are working on a budget here and uh, I, I do believe we can save this thing. We have great sponsors at HTP. Uh, they supply me with welders and I could just weld the holes up, buy a stock crankshaft, stock connecting rods. Now, okay, I won't really know if I could save this engine without tearing it apart first, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. Yeah, guys, I might be maxing out this table, but oh well. If it, if it falls down, I mean, I ain't gonna lose anything. So far, so good. I'm gonna take off these covers, make sure the engine is at top to the center. There's always some hidden bolts behind this cover. And now we can just pop this thing off. <clears throat> okay guys, something in there is seized. It's not wanting to turn. So I'm just gonna have to pull the cams. Okay, the cams appear to be fine, but normal wear. All right guys, so the cams do look fine. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the head carefully. Um, so far, I don't see any sand up here or anything like that, which is a good sign. Moment of truth. Oh, help. Take that off. Pretty sure I ruined that head gap. Alright guys, luckily the only thing I see wrong with the head is just two bent valves and yeah, they are seized in there. 30, 50, 50 dollars to fix. Uh oh. Okay, pull it out. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. Holy crap. That right there is the carnage. 
that is just insane. And unfortunately, guys, the cylinder is cracked. <laughs> what do you guys think? Can we run that? Um, but I'm sure I could source one of these for pretty cheap. They're commonly available. Let's see, the crank, yeah, the crank is done. It is seized in there. Yeah, it's seized. We could probably reuse these uh, these three pistons, though. Oops. I'm starting to believe that this was not sabotage, it was just the dirt from the road. But who knows, man, who knows? I, I can't get a hold of the previous owner. Turns out there was a hidden bolt under this counterbalancer, so we got that. And now these cases should just come right off. Whew. There it is. There's that transmission. You know what guys, I am just pretty impressed that all I'm seeing is what I'm seeing and there's nothing more. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off right here so I can remove uh, all this transmission stuff and give these cases a nice good wash. I'm actually pretty surprised that uh, it does look like this engine is rebuildable. Will it be cheaper than what I could buy a used engine for? Maybe. I don't know yet. I don't really don't know. Um, so what I'm going to do now is head to the pressure washer. I'm going to pressure wash the crap out of these cases and then we could talk about welding them. Um, it's going to be tricky but we'll see what we can pull off. Cases pretty well clean, so as you can see. 
see uh, there's the hole right there and one right there and then the big one is right there so what I'm gonna do first is just sand all the roughness out of these holes I'm gonna grab a piece of cardboard get a template and then we're gonna grab a piece of aluminum flat bar bend it to contour the shape of the engine uh, we're gonna leave some excess sticking out here so we can grind it down smooth and we're just gonna TIG weld it in this block is pretty rigid in this area so I don't think we'll have any uh, issues with it warping. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and sand all this out and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. So we're going to be maxing this machine out, 220 amps. This thing is welding so nice. Uh, as you can see, I did not line it up perfectly, and that's just so we have extra material to grind down uh, after we're done welding it. All right guys, we got it welded, so now we need to go ahead and weld it right here and right there, and it should be good to go. All right guys, there's that other hole. It is a lot smaller, but a lot of this area I couldn't clean very well, so we'll just have to see how it welds. All right, hopefully that holds it still. So here's an arc shot of what I'm actually doing. I know it's really hard to see, but here's what it looks like under the hood. So uh, cast aluminum is just a very porous, and especially engine castings are very porous and dirty. So here basically what I'm doing is just initiating the arc, building a puddle, putting some heat in the aluminum, and then just dabbing away. So some of the impurities do come up and mess with my puddle, but that's all fine. Uh, so as you can see, I am shaking pretty bad. Must be from all the caffeine, but the end product did come out nice. So let me know if you want to see more arc shots. They are a little bit inconvenient for me, but I feel like you guys could actually see what I'm doing. Alright guys, so I spent half the day welding this Hayabusa block and I think it turned out way better than I expected. Here's what I welded, it came out pretty nice. Now, I am a little bit worried, there is a gap right here 
Um, I stuck a feeler gauge in there and it, it's around uh, 0 0.03, 0 0.035 millimeters. That's 12 thousandths of an inch. I'll probably let that slide for now. I'm sure some good old fashioned Yama Bond could fill that up. Um, but if we were to boost, uh, turbocharge this engine, that would probably blow out. So yeah, that whole time I was only about half a pedal on the TIG machine. It performed really nice. So shout out to HTP. And then uh, also, I think I will be working with one of my subscribers. He's gonna be providing me some used parts, uh, possibly forged pistons. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. And guys, I'm pretty tired, so I guess I'll catch you tomorrow. And now for an update on the Hayabusa motorcycle. So basically, I got really lucky and I found a set of some stock wheels and a stock swing arm. So yeah, we got these stock looking wheels off Marketplace, they're in great shape. I think I wanna do something really cool with the Hayabusa frame, something that's never really been done before, like maybe a cafe racer. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna use for a power plant wise, but I have some plans. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna get this thing registered in street legal and then probably just finish it sometime later. So as for the engine block repair, a lot of people said it wasn't really a good idea, but I did it anyways. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. Did it exceed your expectations? Uh, I think it should hold up pretty nicely. So guys, if you're wondering where the videos are, well, I was working on my Miata. I'm turbocharging this thing. This is my Miata. And I can't wait to get it done, but it basically required me to focus on this thing. And I wasn't able to make any videos in that time. And also, my dad's truck broke down, which I had to help him with some stuff. I was uploading twice a week. Two times in a row, that's the first time I've ever done that uh, in like two years. Go ahead and check this thing out on my second channel. I'm not going to upload it on my first channel because uh, stuff like this is just not what I do on the regular. So yeah guys, with that being said, I'll have to catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned and peace.